Hello everybody. You can say what you want about John F. Kennedy, but he wanted to inspect the Israeli nuclear program. And uh, he also wanted to make the Jewish lobby in the USA uh, kind of foreign entity organization. I don't know the exact terms, you can lo look it up. I'm out on a walk with the stroller. So pardon me. But anyway, he died. Every US president and uh, presidential candidate has to swear allegiance to Israel. Now imagine if I was the president of Poland and I had to swear an allegiance to Portugal or to Vietnam. It would be rather strange, wouldn't it? Now USA gives each day millions and millions of dollars, you can look up how much, to Israel. And Donald Trump has done more for Israel than he has for the USA during his term. I knew he would win the election, everything was kind of um, in that kind of spirit that year with Brexit and Trump. And uh, I knew he would be a puppet just like everybody else because if you swear allegiance to a foreign country, you're a traitor. You know, if he was my president, he'd be a traitor. And all my prime ministers and presidents are traitors according to me, but that's another story. I never expected that he would be so much of a Zionist puppet than he actually proved himself himself to be, which is fascinating. Just recently he signed and kind of approved that the Golan Heights now belong to Israel. While he can't even raise his, <clears throat> his simple uh, wall on the Mexican border, he gives away territory to another country. And uh, funny enough, uh, a few we weeks ago, an American politician called out, uh, called out the Jewish lobby in Washington with APAC and all that, and she got so much hate. Funny enough, a week later, uh, you know, the facts, the events in themselves proved her to be wrong, uh, to be right. So, and she's not the first one to point out this, but you know. The Jewish lobby in the USA owns the media, Hollywood, the porn industry, and uh, they are uh, not just shutting down things on YouTube and on the internet, but they are also tweaking the algorithm. Tweaking the algorithm is the little sister of shutting it down. Now, you see, I criticize Bosnia, Sweden, uh, Germany, England. I do all kinds of critiques, and I'm not anti-Swede, anti-Bosnian, anti uh, Englishmen and so not so what so anybody who uses the word anti-semit today is a phony because that word used to mean who, uh, people who actually dislike Jews or their faith or you know their uh, tribe and what, what not now it's a term they use and people affiliated with those lobby groups for people they don't like so enough of that you see uh, what I'm doing this video is because this next election in the USA will be interesting. It will be staged like most of them, but it will be interesting to see what candidates pop up and what they have to o offer in regards to actually uh, putting America first and uh, making America great again, which this orange-headed uh, old uh, man can't do because he's giving away land to a foreign country, he spends more time talking about that than actually doing anything for his own country. You know, where's the wall? Where's the thing he, he promised? <clears throat> he was a good meme user. He felt the pulse of the public. He won the election because, uh, you know, Clinton was so corrupt. We already know, knew who she was. We didn't know who Trump was. So he could kind of get in with a clean slate. Uh, but he filled up his uh, uh, seats of loyalty with corrupt people immediately. So anyway, it will be interesting. And for those people who are awake enough, they will realize if there is an, a candidate who will actually do something different compared to what he will promise. As an example, putting America first and not being a Zionist puppet, right? Uh, so if you don't see that at all in the, uh, how do you say, primary talks and promises, then you know 
you know, it's just business as usual. And that matters even for me on the west coast of Sweden. Because Sweden and Norway were involved in bombing Libya. Why? A functioning country. You know, for those people who are aware, Libya was uh, not part of the international uh, banking system. They wanted to do their own thing. And Gaddafi being a disgusting man, as he is, like most leaders are, hey, every day, you know, US drones and bombs are killing Muslims and uh, nobody cares. And when a tragic thing happens in New Zealand, you know, it's all over the news. Somehow it doesn't matter if a drone does it and, uh, and so on. And uh, you see, uh, recently Trump also did uh, change the laws of... Um, they can now do uh, drone bombings without, um, how do you say, declaring or making... Putting out any information on, you know, where and what and who and so on. So yeah. And in the meanwhile, the United Nations, United Nonsense, some good things they actually do. Uh, like condemning and blatantly, openly writing a report where they state that Israel is killing innocent kids and civilians who protest. And you can see if you... or you don't have to because, you know, just it's it's too horrible like you see snipers shooting kids and you know laughing and so on so you know gaza is an open air prison you know you don't have to be uh, sympathetic for uh, any country any cause but you know a decent person will have some kind of sympathy for justice or some baseline of justice and and fairness so that's all i just want to comment on this I don't have time to do like in-depth uh, article analysis and all that kind of stuff. I just want to po point out and some uh, general thoughts about this. And um, like, I, I knew he would be a Zionist puppet, but to this extent, wow. And um, we'll see what's happen what's going to happen in 2020 in the USA. And uh, early on, we will see if there is an actual alternative candidate, or it will, or will it just be another, you know, Zionist Democrat versus a Zionist Republican, which is all just nonsense. Meanwhile, you know, because of all of these wars in the Middle East, uh, which were based on lies, you know, Iraq didn't have any weapons of mass destruction. Uh, Israel apparently has them, and nobody is allowed to scrutinize their arsenal. Kennedy wanted that; he's dead. Um, you know, we have all the, all of the refugee crisis, uh, migrant invasion and all that. We'll have all of that. Plus the millions of people who have died and, you know, gotten their lives uh, destroyed. A few people actually know what it means to, you know, lose people who you love and lose your home, your your your, your uh, neighborhood, your, your city and having it destroyed. And it's going on, you know, the war in Afghanistan is, keep, uh, is still going on. The war in Syria is going on you know isis is gone assad has done what he promised to you know with the help of russians and so on trump is there to protect israel of course isis never attacked israel uh, there's so much information i mean if you happen to watch this and you're a subscriber of my channel you know look into it into this stuff if you're interested you will see how much um things kind of connect in the end and um yeah let's hope for um change on the global uh, political spectrum basically a change of um, ambition and a change of focus and finally i think it's kind of happening because uh, what's going on in you know in in gaza what's going on in the middle east in venezuela it's opening up the eyes for many people to scrutinize and have a new look on things and uh, you know do their own research so that was just some quick thoughts on this whole thing. Take care and all the best. Ciao.